Greetings, everyone. Um, it has come to my attention that there's a lot of contention um, in the Bantu Awakening about the issue of um, honoring the ancestors or interacting with the ancestors, whether it is biblical or not. And um, I'd just like to provide a chapter from the book of Jasher, chapter 42. This is um, just context. It's when Joseph was sold by his brothers to the Midianites and the Midianites um, sold him to the Ishmaelites. Um, and on his way to Egypt, they actually passed by um, Joseph's mother's grave. Um, so I'll be reading from uh, chapter 42, verses 29. It said, And the men proceeded on the road, and they passed along the road of Eprath, where Rachel was buried. And Joseph reached his mother's grave. And Joseph hastened and ran to his mother's grave and fell upon the grave and wept. Joseph cried, cried aloud upon his mother's grave and said, O oh, my mother, my mother, who thou, who didst give me birth, wake now and rise and see your son, how he has been sold for a slave and no one to pity him. O oh, rise and see your son, weep with me on account of my troubles and see the heart of my brethren. Rise, my mother, rise, awake from your sleep for me and direct your battles against my brethren. He's clearly calling to his mother for help. Oh, how have they stripped me of my coat and sold me already twice for a slave to the Midianites and the Ishmaelites and separated me from my father and there is no one to pity me. Arise and lay your cause against them before God. He's pleading for his mother to present his case before God. Uh, Zambi, and see whom Yah will justify in the judgment and whom will be condemned. Rise, O oh my mother, rise, awake from your sleep and see my father how his soul is with me this day and comfort him and ease his heart. And Joseph continued to speak these words. Joseph cried aloud and wept bitterly upon his mother's grave. And he ceased speaking, and from bitterness of heart, he became still as a stone upon the grave. And Joseph heard a voice speaking to him from beneath the ground, which answered him with bitterness of heart, and with a voice of weeping and praying in these words, My son, my son, Joseph, your sepa, I have heard the voice of your weeping and the voice of your lamentation. I have seen your tears. I know your troubles, my son, and it grieves me for your sake. An abundant grief is added to my grief. Now, therefore, my son, Joseph, my son, hope to Tatan Zambi and wait for him and do not fear for Sonini is with you. He will deliver you from all trouble. Rise, my son, Go down unto Egypt with your masters and do not fear, for Tatanzambi is with you, my son. And she continued to speak like unto these words, unto Yosepa, and she was still. She spoke from the grave which Joseph visited, the grave of Rachel, wife of Jacob, mother of Joseph. Um, anyway... Yeah, for anyone who was wondering, that is Jasher 42, verses 26 to 40. And as you can see, for, for about 10 verses, um, Joseph is calling to his mother saying, rise, rise, rise. Then his mother answers him. Yeah, uh, enjoy. Uh, we have a lot to learn, a lot of reading. Once again, um, I encourage everyone, do not condemn or do not judge what you don't understand. Okay, thank you. Sissimi, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the Book of Enoch in chapter 106 is talking about, um, Lamech had a child, and, it, and, it, and it, the child looked like the angels. So then Lamech asked his father, Methuselah, to go to his father, Enoch, who was already dead, because he, he abides in with the angels. So Methuselah went to his father, in the mountains and called him and then after that um enoch answered him as well so it's also giving a precept to jasher
to what the sister was talking about. So yeah, so people have to stop hating this ancestor thing when it's in the Bible. I mean, I I agree with everything that you both are saying. You know, we know that this is true. And, you know, like the sister said, that people should not judge that which they don't understand. Um, but now, you know, we know, you know, we know what the Most High has said. We know about the spirit of Isaiah Kongo. Uh, we know that we're to do greater works than he. And we will not be able to do that sitting in our posturing position by just waiting for uh, the Most High to come out of the heavens and gather us, that, that we're supposed to be doing work. And so we know what what is going on. And like, you know, Sister Red and Jasher, this is what it is. This is what it is. This is not ancestry worship. This is speaking. This is having a dialogue. But this is okay. They will say what they're going to say. You know, we know that we're to worship Tatan Zambi. We know that the Most High is the creator of all things, that he gives us life. But we also know that he also said that he is not the Alimo of the dead, but of the living. So this is what it's going to be. Let them continue to say what they what they have. And like you said before, you know, the, we'll let them separate the wheat from the tares. The Most High will do so. And we'll see where we are at the end. And get the yeah, brother. The funny thing is, he didn't just um, he didn't just speak to his mother. He called out his mother from the grave, and he basically summoned her. Rise. He basically summoned her. Um, uh, begged her to come and speak to him, and that's exactly what she did. She spoke from her grave. Um, yeah, very very interesting. Yeah, once again, thank you so much for what you guys teach and learn. Um, like I say, that's what prompts us to go and get this information out and read. So, yeah, thank you. Semi, semi, my brother. Um, it is an honor to talk to you again. This is uh, Brother Kwan. Uh, it's very disheartening. Um, but like I was telling you before, um, the diaspora is very immature. Um, if you read the secret books of Enoch, which I'm quite sure you already have, um, Enoch consulted with his father in the sepulcher. And you know, the sepulcher is usually inside caves um, where their bodies were still present with the myrrh and the gold and all the uh, things that were buried with them. Um, it is very unfortunate. Our, our brothers and sisters are in deep witchcraft. Like I was telling you, that's why we need to have supernatural power because um, Isaiah said in the scriptures, those who let, let, you know, like if they, they, they're not going to believe brother. And, and it is very unfortunate. Um, uh, let the word be true and every man alive. And we know that the Holy spirit deals with the truth and spirit. Uh, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate. Um, they're not dead. These individuals are alive, you know, but when you have a YouTube page, and you have a following to be honest with you brother sometimes they don't want to ruin their reputation so they have to maintain a certain type of 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 presence when they are uh, talking to their people that's why i don't have a youtube page you know um, tata zombie didn't tell told me it's not time there's things that i know that will just blow people's mind um but tata zombie told me it's not time um uh as we both know um this bantu awakening um there's always infiltrators like like the hebrew israelite awakening and and this is this is what i've been afraid of everyone has interpretation of tata zombie until tata zombie comes down my brother we, we there will always be debates unfortunately until Tata Zombie, the spirit of Tata Zombie through his men comes down and puts the fear of Tata Zombie back in the people, you know, until he puts it back in the people, my brother, then, then at that point, my brother, do we will really understand the truth of the Most High instead of an interpretation. I'll share a quote with you, brother. I, 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 Tata Zombie gave it to me. I just made it up. What we know is our faith 
and our interpretation of Tata Zombie. I'll say it again. The only thing that we know is that we have faith in our own interpretations of Tata Zombie. That's the only thing that we know. And until Tata Zombie comes through the men like yourself, like Jonathan, like Kefas, but it has to be bigger, brother. It has to be bigger. It has to be way bigger before you put fear in the people. And that's what I was telling you, my brother, my son. Fear, fear is the only thing that will quiet the world. Fear. And it is coming. It's coming really soon, my brother. It is coming sooner than you know. The fact that people are waking up and now everything is changing. The direction everything was changing. It was about black Hebrew Israelites. Here in the States, uh, they are already um, calling us domestic terrorists. It's terrible, brother. I, I, I got to talk to you on the phone. There's a lot to, to discuss. But Tata Zombie is telling me to just continue to wait um, before I, you know, uh, set something up on um, YouTube. I'm, I'm going to continue to wait. Tata, there's a lot of things that I do know, brother. Um, and it is very sad, you know, that it's a car family. Anybody that has a YouTube page, we have to be, we have to be not so quick to credit. You know, the scripture in Ecclesiastes tell us don't be too hasty to credit. You know, don't be sued so quick to credit. And this is an example why. Everyone is growing in the Holy Spirit. And this is the thing about the Holy Spirit. It is ever changing because we're ever changing. And again, until the truth through the uh, diaspora and through uh, the men of God that are already in Africa, uh, you know, based upon um, Isaiah 11, 11, about Ephraim and about Judah, once or Luba, once the 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 leader the scepter comes back then we will be whole and as you see my brother i i i feel so bad you know you jonathan kephas uh uh pastor um uh pastor mello uh i, I you, you catch so much hell unfortunately my brothers and it's because the leader is not here kephas said it in one of his videos the bantu need order and it's true what is order? We all know order is power. I'm not talking about healing signs and wonders. I'm talking about destruction. I'm talking about plagues and doom. That is what will wake people up. That is what will wake people up. And until that happens, the best that we can do, you know, brother masters, continue to lead by example and just ignore them. Then that's all we can do, brother, is ignore. As that's all we can do. Uh, you know, it's, it's very sad. And when Yesaya um, told us to be converted in our minds, what he was saying was uh, being able to know that you don't know anything. All right. Remember what the Pharisees and Sadducees was doing, right? They were going based upon the uh, the Torah or the law of Mo, um, Masa, right? So when Yesaya said you have to be converted and be as children, when you think of a children, you think of innocence. You think of, in a sense, you think of willingness to learn, eagerness to learn, that fire to be like children, that fire to reach. And remember, we have to constantly seek the face of Tata Zombie, right? So if you are a grown person who's indoctrinated, you can understand why the older will serve the younger, the children, because Tata Zombie is able to get through the children, right? Um, and I'm not talking about the ancestors of old. I'm talking about the elders that are living now. That's what Tata Zombie is talking about. The elders that are living now, you know, that are alive now. We love our elders. We respect them. But a lot of them are indoctrinated and it will take people with an open mindedness of Tata Zombie. And how do you receive the open mindedness when you admit that you don't know anything? When you admit that you don't know anything, then you'll read books like The Secrets of Enoch. You'll read books like um, like the Lost Books, Adam and Eve. You'll read books like the uh, the birth of um, the uh, you'll read books like um, uh, the birth of the Isaiah, you know, in the Lost Gospels. There's Lost God. You, you know, brother, we, we already know it's so much, <laughs> you know, you um, know. 
So until people are willing to say they don't know anything, and that's rare, you know, because that means you would have to let go of your pride. You have to let go of your ego. When you admit that you don't know anything, now Tata Zombie's power can be revealed in you. When you realize you don't know, you're trying to keep the faith. That's what Tata wants. Because if you ask a child anything that's hard to comprehend, what will a child tell you? I don't know, right? And what will you do to that child when they admit that they don't know? You will teach them, right? And that's the type of spirit I try to have. You know, that's why I look up to people like you, even though we're the same age, I still look up to you because I don't know anything. I, I don't know. No, I don't know anything, brother. I don't know nothing. But it makes people gravitate to you more. Why? Because everybody wants to teach. And I'll listen because I'm learning. I don't know. That's why Tata didn't allow me to make a YouTube yet. I'm still learning. You know, but when the truth comes, brother, when the truth comes, hallelujah, or oh, praise the Tata Zami Yamazulu. When the truth comes, brother, that fear that I told you earlier, now we will know, right? Uh, what is it saying, Isaiah 45? Um, I have sworn by myself, the words are going out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. But unto me, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. And in that context, you know, we're not supposed to swear. We're not supposed to swear in these scriptures. You know, we're not supposed to swear on the Holy Spirit. But swear means to declare. It means to declare. In the Greek, it means to declare, to stand strong on it, to stand firm, to shout. Surely shall one say, in the Lord have our righteousness and strength, even to him shall men come. So it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Men will come once the power comes. And it's already happening now. But you know how Tata Zombie is, brother, little by little. So I know it hurts. I know it burns. But little by little, the power is coming. It's coming. The fact that American people are even having this conversation is a progress, brother. It's a progress in the right direction. The fact that we're even having this conversation. Because guess what this conversation is doing, brother? <laughs> it's building friction and what does friction do my brother what does it create it creates fire it creates a spark oh brother this is too deep oh this is too deep brother oh come on brother oh. <laughs> when you are at friction you're rubbing together and when you rub the two olive branches or the two olive trees together what do you get the fire of tata zombie to the isaiah hallelujah so we're going in the right direction, brother. It's okay. It's okay, brother. The fact that we are at odds, unfortunately, with the diaspora and the people that are in the Congos and four corners of the earth, it's it's supposed to happen, brothers, what I'm telling you. It creates the fire. It's supposed to happen. These conversations, these debates, people not, it's supposed to happen, brother. It creates friction. Come on, brother. It creates friction. It creates fire. When you're constantly rubbing and butting heads, it creates fire friction and it creates fire brother it creates a spark it's okay it's supposed to happen brother it, it's supposed to it was written okay <laughs>